Hello, and today we are going to come back on a rather extraordinary watch, the Super Sonnery by Audemars Piguet. And to be more precise, we will focus on its chiming mechanism and some of its very innovative acoustic features since AP opened their doors to us and let us see some of these watches currently in production and we are talking very small numbers per year. The Super Sonnery was first seen as a non-sellable concept watch in 2015 at the SIH and was presented as the RD1. It was then actually launched the following year, still in the same case, and was known as the Royal Oak Concept Super Sonnery. And this year, well, we have seen this movement encased in a more classical Jules Audemars timepiece. The goal of this development was threefold. Well, first AP wanted to create a waterproof minute repeater watch, something that goes uh, against all established uh, principle as you need the sound created within the case to escape outside of it to hear it well. This is something that had already been tried but with mixed results precisely because of the sound being entrapped. Well, secondly, and in contrast to what I've just said, AP wanted exceptional sound quality with a clear tone and unprecedented volume for a chiming wash, as simple as that. And thirdly, they wanted the chiming mechanism to be as secure as possible, meaning that you could operate your watch more or less the way you want without the risk of damaging such an intricate mechanism. But today we will focus more on the acoustic dimension of this watch because for those of you who heard it in real well, it's simply put quite impressive. So let's meet Giulio Papi and Luca Zaraggi who will explain us the challenges faced and the clever and innovative approach they followed. Une répétition minute en fait c'est un cadran acoustique et là on va délecter un autre sens qui est l'oreille et euh, c'est euh, c'est quelque chose enfin c'est un sens qui est autant important que la vue aujourd'hui on n'a plus vraiment besoin de ces fonctions là mais c'est largement encore apprécié par les personnes qui aiment la musique et qui aiment entendre une information plus que de la voir et c'est un instrument musical qui doit créer vraiment une une cadence hein, de de coups de frappe pour donner l'heure, l'écart, le nombre de minutes. Et ici, il y a toute une partie donc de la mécanique qui doit être très précise et régulière. Et ensuite, il y a toute la partie de mise en son ou de création, générer, générer un son euh, agréable. Et euh, notre problème à nous, c'était de comment régler maintenant ces timbres. Euh, parce que euh, on n'a plus tellement de ces horlogers avec l'oreille absolue. Donc c'est ça le, le, le début de l'histoire de la super sonnerie, c'est ça. Donc euh, on a contacté euh, pour cela euh, les PFL, hein, le, le Polytechnique de Lausanne, pour nous aider à résoudre ce problème. 